Hi there. Howdy. This is beautiful. Well, thank you. You got a slide in today? No, just, just down there. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Good. I love this. Yes, good, thanks. And snoring and non snoring shelters. This is hilarious. I would have to be in the snoring because I do occasionally snore. And then look at this. This is a lovely little like dining area. The beautiful flower. Sure if it's real or not, but and then because they're trying to restore stuff, you can't camp behind, so they're trying to contain it into the areas. But beautiful, there's bare poles over there, uh, which I hate, but there's a clothesline here, which is perfect. Most shelters can benefit from that, somewhere to hang your socks to dry and air out um, and then obviously rain any rain gear that's got wet but there's yeah hammocking over there and tent sites over here tent sites down there lovely flat tent spots Train maintenance guy here yeah. doing great work. And again, so if, if you don't like the uh, look, there's group tent sites over there, there's a bear box, just perfect. What a great shelter! Good morning from day 92, I think, um, on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, just leaving Tumbling Run shelters. Um, and it is 73 degrees already. Um, Going to be a warm one again today. So there are rumours of it's going to be hot today and tomorrow. And then there's going to be a thunderstorm on Monday. Monday? which is Memorial Day. So it's good to see that uh, my, my luck with the UK public holidays holds true for American holidays in that a public holiday almost always means rain. But that is no problem for us hardy, hard, Hardened, hearty, AT through hikers. Uh, going straight up. Like that's, that's flat. So yeah, up. Um, for about a mile today. Uh, it's about a thousand foot climb. Straight out the gate. And then rest looks relatively um, easy going. Plan is potentially for a 20 mile day uh, to a shelter at Birch Run, I think it's called. Um, but um, there is also a, a barbecue place at about halfway. So we'll probably stop in there if it's open and have some lunch slash dinner, depending on what time. Uh, but yeah, I will update you uh, when there's more to see, because at the moment, going uphill, it's been a while since you heard me huff and puff like this. So for now, I'll just say happy hiking. Okay, that was the first uh, thousand foot climb I've had in a, a little while. Uh, and it's pretty warm and that's uh, 
was, I mean, it wasn't tough um, necessarily. Just, uh, yeah, it was a whew, reminder yeah, of what, what climbs are. So I've just dropped my pack back at the, the trailhead and here, taking a little blue blaze up to a place called Chimney Rock, which is apparently spectacular views. And also nice to have the pack off <laughs> after the climb, but it's looking pretty good. You can see up here, looks like maybe there's some people up on top, so I'll probably stop videoing in a second. But, yeah. Fun times. It is warm. <laughs> uh, so I was hoping to get some uh, uh, a nice breeze up at Chimney Rock back there, but uh, no breeze, direct sunlight. So moved on fair, relatively quickly. Again, beautiful views. We see a lot of them, but there's also a uh, an ulterior motive in that, as I mentioned, we're probably going to try and stop at a um barbecue spot i think it's called 65 street barbecue or something um in i want to say caledonia state park anyway whatever it's supposed to it's supposed to be a um really good bar barbecue place uh the caveat seems to be that they just uh close when they sell out of food so they make a certain amount of food and then that's it. So if you if it's a busy weekend, like Memorial Weekend, um, Memorial Day weekend, then potentially there's going to be it's going to be busy, and they may sell out. Like it's supposedly open till eight o'clock tonight. Uh, today's a Saturday. Today's Saturday. Um, but again, I've seen comments from. Uh, people about how they sold out at 3.30 on Saturday. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's the ulterior motive a little bit. It is just Gadget and me at the moment. Gadget wants to tell me something. So I'm presuming there's a possible bear sighting. Um, yeah, so it's just Gadget and me at the moment. Uh, hold on, let's see. <laughs> yes! On camera. I almost saw a bear. <laughs> almost saw a bear. Just nearly. Oh no. <laughs> I love this. This is such a funny bit. <laughs> Sometimes I hike away too too far and too fast. Well, I stop a lot and then make him late anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, it's just Gadget and I at the moment. Um, Blessings is maybe a day behind, maybe more. Um, she stopped for an extra zero day after um, the four state challenge. I don't know if I mentioned, but she was originally planning to zero um, on, on the day we started the four state challenge. Uh, and some people convinced her to come hike with us. That was us, we convinced her um, to come hike with us. So instead of resting for a, a much needed zero day, she hiked for 24 hours and did 44, 80 miles like a lunatic um so she's resting uh and setting out today from uh, zero days stay which is again great hostel so she she's behind and then sass has stayed behind um didn't attempt the four state challenge because uh, she was having some uh, feet issues and she's got a friend coming to stay so the timing's kind of worked out uh, for her to catch up with that but if you want to see what's happening with sass well, well, stay tuned for her video uh but hopefully we'll we'll all catch up again at some point um but we'll see for now the key part is barbecue yum okay a couple of miles to go to the barbecue spot for lunch uh it is 81 degrees or 27 and a half degrees uh, Celsius 
Um, so hot. Uh, I'm reliably informed that my hiking partner is sweating every inch of her. You're welcome. She's not showering for a few days. I wasn't going to offer that that information yeah. up, but sure. Delicious. <laughs> um, so yeah, as as I mentioned earlier, there is a there is a a park with a swimming pool and a um, showers and stuff there potentially open. Um, if the swimming pool's open, we may take a dip. If it's Ooh. if it's not jam packed with screaming kids on a, a Memorial Day weekend Saturday, but at the moment, all I can really think about is barbecue. So two miles, maybe an hour. Should get in maybe two two thirty. Hungry. I like. I didn't think I was going to be hungry, but I am starving and very much looking forward to oh, hopefully some good barbecue. Sorry, what was that peanut gallery? So hungry. <laughs> the main character wanted to confirm. She's hungry. Yes, I called you a. I called you a peanut. Little peanut. <laughs> okay, this is getting silly now. Ah, okay. This is sixty-five South Barbecue, sixty-five South or something. I love this sign. Thursday to Sunday, 11 to when they sell out. Hells yeah. You know it's got to be good. Ah, oh, I can see a smoker in the back. Oh, yeah. Open sign so they are not sold out. Or probably not sold out. <laughs> 65 South Barbecue. Woo! Okay. They were sold out of most stuff, but they managed to pull together some fries and some barbecue pulled chicken mac and cheese. It's amazing. So good. Okay, we are leaving. It was good barbecue. It's a shame they was they sell out of stuff so quickly, but I can see why. Oh, so Very good. Uh, very difficult to get the uh, to motivate ourselves to hike now that we've got full bellies but uh hike we shall we got like 10 more miles to go to the uh, birch run shelter um but there's also plenty of stealth camping along the way so we'll see how happy are you to be hiking gadget ah Out of 15. and nine out of fifteen, gadget with her unique rating system. But yeah, it's just you know you eat like we had about two pounds of loaded mac and cheese, which was delicious. Even though I forgot that gadget doesn't normally like mac and cheese, she did like this mac and cheese. Uh, but yeah, kind of want to have a little nap, but hopefully. Hiking will wake us up a little bit. Okay, so apparently this is the most difficult. I'm confused. This is Maine to Georgia. Aren't we going Georgia to Maine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. We're lost. We yeah, should get off trail. Lost. We should get off trail and go and uh, and and uh, get into town <laughs> instead of taking on this most difficult. Let's go. There's a girl. Okay. Look at this, look at this shit. Oh, wait, That's level. This goes right up. Pennsylvania, baby. Oh wow. This is amazing. Look at this for a shelter. Great tent pad. Hey. Hello. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. This is amazing. Okay, Quarry Gap was a beautiful little shelter, but we've still got like three hours of daylight. So uh, we're gonna push on and uh, aim for Birch Run, which is another like seven miles, seven, seven and a half miles. So should be fine to get in before it gets dark. Um, we got a bit of a climb. Uh, now, but then it should all be fairly flat. Uh, 
there is rumors of thunderstorms and we had some rumbling and uh, the wind picked up a little bit but some clouds rolled in kind of potentially see like, it's not really there's some blue sky up there but there's also some grey sky so it could be some rain but we'll see right now I'd welcome some rain because it's warm uh, not sure what's going on with my hair but I like I just gave myself a little uh, uh, stream shower at the place we stopped off there uh, and it feels good yeah seven and a half miles hopefully relatively straightforward hopefully with some good views Pennsylvania still pretty good don't know if you can hear that but that is the delightful sound of thunder rolling around the uh, the sky it's been going on for maybe half an hour now um, hasn't started raining yet but I suspect it's not long um, but yeah could be fun we've got maybe two and a half miles to the uh, to the shelter uh, ideally get there before like before there's a torrential downpour because then we can at least shelter under the there's like a covered porch or something it says uh, um, uh, covered patio I can't remember the description said there's like a covered area as well as obviously the shelter itself so we could like shelter in there um, or get our tents up if it's not raining but yeah we shall see uh, again not sure how much footage I'll get at the end of the day when arriving late into camp people might be already asleep or sleep or whatever but yeah Good day. And it's raining. Huh? And it's raining. And it's raining. It is, yes. So we are pack covering. No poncho for me just yet. Hoping. I'm not gonna poncho because I have no idea what the fuck that is. <laughs> but uh also say so we've only got like two and a half to the shelter and all this stuff is drenched with sweat anyway, so I don't think it matters too much if it get matters too much if it gets a little wet. Um, and we gotta climb up now so I don't wanna put the poncho on anyway. But yeah, fun times. Rain, 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 I love the rain. Woo woo woo. Oh yeah. This is pretty spooky. <laughs> love it. Rain's coming down. Proper old school forest with giant trees. Rain coming down. There could be all kinds of werewolves and bears out there. I mean, there's no bears because bears don't exist, but yeah, pretty great. This is all just pretty stunning. Super, super pretty.